वेलकम टू एम बी एस शो एपिसोड नंबर टू वन सिक्स आई एम योर होस्ट नोम सैंसो जॉइनिंग मी टूडे इज विल ग्रीटिंग्स ऑल यू लैंड लवर्स आर ई मेरीज हाउ यू बी डूइंग आई आई बी डूइंग क्वाइट वेल देर नॉर्मन You see, I've been waiting for this stream for quite a long time. So let's get going with introducing the other five lasses who join us today. <laughs> Indeed, and also joining us is Lurka Cat. Hey guys! I didn't know you were a pirate. Well, it's like you should come on our pirate night out next month. Bring your ship. We could use a ship. <laughs> Arr, well, she be moored at the moment, so. Oh. <laughs> oh. And also joining us today is Matt Munchkin. I don't have a pirate voice. Yar, <laughs> use your voice. Think of the grog. Think of the rum, Mimi. Think of the rum. <laughs> Come on, you pessimistic pixie. Get up that accent and start doing some jolly lee wagon. Even if you just set things on fire, that's pirate enough for me. Oh no! Mm. Oh no! Oh no! Ugly. <laughs> we seen your three friends not here. He's not here. Yay! Right. Ugly now. You can swap the decks, Norman. Come aboard, Ark. <laughs> Probably. So, <laughs> how is everyone doing, by the way? Doing good. Doing good. What about you? Very good. All righty then. So, uh, I want to reintroduce you guys to Amy because oh, Matt Munchkin. Oh, Amy. Like, oh wow, this is gonna be confusing. I don't mind. I don't mind. I answer to hey you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, mind. Hey. Oh, Paddy, Matt Munchkin, whatever. I I really don't mind. All righty, that's okay. Oh wow, that's that's <laughs> oh wow. Okay, but I'm going to go for Amy because. Uh, oh wait. Why? What up? Uh, sorry. <laughs> but I'm going to go for Amy. So Amy, you've been on the show before, and we have previously asked you the four important questions. So, just as a refresher course, we're going to ask you two. And who's your favorite character? I wonder. Uh, Pinkie Pie is my favorite character. Ah. Um. Yeah. Uh, will I say why really quickly, sure, or is ahead. that the next question? <laughs> I think out of all of them, she's just the most authentic to me. Like she's always consistently just her, and she doesn't really have much restraint or tact. But I think that's what I love about her, and um, her energy and the way that she, like you know, she breaks the fourth wall and. I usually hate all things pink, but Pinkie Pie is the exception to the rule, and she's just adorable and cute and silly, and yeah, uh, she just makes me happy, so and makes me cry sometimes as well. So oh. yeah. <laughs> why, why cry? Like nobody really says, "Oh, Pinkie Pie um, makes me cry." Like, okay. I know, but with, with the the smile song, um, because that has it's it means a lot to me that song and. Uh, The episode with cheese sandwich where she laments,、uh. and she's she's her own motivational speaker. She can be like really down low, pinky mina level almost, but she can always bring herself out of it eventually, which is pretty admirable. So yeah, because it's not that, easy to do that. So it's not always the case with her, but in that episode it was. So yeah. And、let's not forget, on a regular basis, Pinky does make physics cry. <laughs> yep. Or reality, like remember the last episode? <laughs> oh gosh, yes. Oh wow. But still, all right. So Pinky Pie is the favorite, <laughs> and checking here, yeah, you still have Pinky Pie as your favorite. And last episode you were on here, you were on on episode number one seventy seven. That was on August of two thousand fifteen, first of August. And wow.、Mm. It's been a while. How time does fly. Indeed. So, favorite <laughs> episode. It's always going to be、um, party of one. Always. Oh, from yeah, it, that will always be my favorite. Although,、um, saddle rule review is a very close second. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, 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 I'm not very good at remembering the, the titles of episodes.、Um, Cantaloup boutique, as well. Because Rarity is my second favorite character. If I have to have a second favorite,、mm. <laughs> so she's more relatable <laughs> to me. Yeah, but Pinkie Pie is、yeah. the fun one. But she's pretty, she's the fun one, and what I would like to be like in an ideal world. But I'm just too stoic, so、mm, <laughs> I can't really channel myself the right the same way. Well, but you're quiet、um, until people get to know you. Then you're. Yeah,、uh, I kind of test the water a bit <laughs> because like I can be like really. 
crazy and enthusiastic about really stupid mundane things. So <laughs> how we regularly go in the shop and we traumatize people. You're like yes. a Pinkie Pie then, but then every other time you're just sort of normal and composed. But then as soon as people get to know you, boom, explosion. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. We get her halfway there. All we need is some pink yeah. hair dye. <laughs> mm. No, I'm yeah, not just got blue. blue at the moment. I'll so please blue. switch it. It's it's almost candy blue at the moment, although it's kind of green. But, eh. <laughs> we'll, we'll switch the hair dye, and she'll never notice. Never <laughs> notice. Never, never <laughs> notice. All right, then. So things seem to be all right, then. So, um, thank you for answering two questions, and welcome back. Welcome back. It's been a while, and we really miss you. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> no, I'm really happy to be back. Thank Yay! you for inviting. Yay. The last time Yay. I think we had you on was for an episode review. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I get interviewed, interviewed. Yeah, we did the interview and then an episode review. And that was yeah. hectic too because scheduling problems. Oof. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So at least right now we're going to have relaxed time just reading the news and talking about, you know, stuff related to the Pony News. And you did mention um, Rarity's Boutique, was it? Yeah, cancel oh, boutique. boutique. Yeah, yeah. Was it the one that they introduced Coco Pomel? No, that was um, she's in Manhattan. Oh. Um, I can't remember the name of the episode that Coco Pomel is first introduced. Is that though. not made in Manhattan, or is it some other one? Oh my goodness. Um. Oh, it might be that one. I don't. Rem- I'm just that as well bad remember- at remembering as you. I believe actually. it was made in Manhattan. Yes. Mm, yeah, 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 I did yeah. something right. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. But I'm staff. I have a cookie. <laughs> yeah. But still, um, talking about Miss Pomel, you remember in the last episode, they keep calling her Miss Pomel, and I was like, hey, why are they not calling her Coco? That's interesting. Yeah. And apparently, because of legal. <laughs> yeah. I just thought it was really odd. Like, well, at first, I thought, well, it's rarity. Hearing her say Miss Pamel, we just I just shrugged it off and go, Oh, it's just rarity being rarity, mm-hmm. you know, being a bit, you know aloof. <laughs> yes, aloof. But then we see the, the post saying that it had to be changed for legal reasons. It's a shame because mm-hmm. 'cause there's been plenty of other um like characters and that are named on screen but nothing happens. So is this just because this is a reoccurring character or or, oh, or is just is Chanel just just being on too often though, Chanel. so Chanel to do that is just a bit mean. Yeah, she is one of the biggest. Bit. She is one of the biggest names in fashion, so that's yeah. her name holds a, a gigantic amount of weight. So I guess parody really crosses the line. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think Hasbro Legal is just covering their butts for this, just because we don't want to get sued. So yeah, it could be mm-hmm. legal just taking precautions, just. Because, well, we don't want to waste money on stuff that we don't really need to waste on. Well, look at the bright side. Look at the bright side. At least Twilight Sparkle was a name that passed legal. Yes. <laughs> okay, but... It's made it better than the actual original Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> which no one should ever watch or even think about because it was just a piece of crap. Because Bella Lugosi would be spinning in his grave. He'd be like, what the yes, heck? Yes, he would. What? <laughs> Uh, but like a glitter, I never once wear glitter. Blah. <laughs> we do not go blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Yeah, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. So, yeah. yeah. So from Coco being not called Coco anymore, um, that's sad. I mean, Coco had a really strong following and Coco sounds like hot Coco. See, that's cool. Making me hungry again, Norman. I want cocoa. Yeah, I want cocoa too. I wish I can drink cocoa now. Just makes me saying it. I need cocoa in my life. Now I'm just t- picturing um cocoa from Foster's Home for Imaginary <laughs> Friends. Yes. Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> come entire conversations cocoa. with just cocoa. That character was fun. I'm sure someone will come up with a Miss Pamel or a Pommy Pamel, some cute. Cutesy name to for Pommel. Nah, I I, mm-hmm. I I think it's already known and written as Coco Pommel is her full name. Show calls her Miss yeah. Pommel, but the fan will always know her as Coco. So it's kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a cat whose name is Coco. Really? No. She's adorable little. She's an adorable little Arabian. And speaking of cats, why isn't our next subject about cats? Yes. <laughs> the best subject ever. Oh yeah. 
I did not know about this until I read the thing that you sent me. I, I had no idea. Yes. I know. I okay. If there's no surprise, <laughs> there's no surprise here. But Grumpy Cat, we all know who Grumpy Cat is or what Grumpy Cat is, and mm. apparently, yeah, apparently Grumpy Cat has a comic. <laughs> Yeah, let that sink in for a while. Wow. Grumpy Cat has a comic. So, I check it out on Google, make sure that it's legit. And yes, Grumpy Cat mm-hmm. is a real comic. But its uh, yeah. name is Grumpy Cat and Pokey. It seems to yeah, be... Like yeah. And it seems to be this kind of Garfield and... You remember the grey cat kind of deal? Yeah, I can't remember. Normal. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Normal. The annoying little cutesy one. Yeah. She was so happy and cute. <laughs> yeah. So it, which was weird because it sounded like a boy in the cartoon. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Yeah. Like, I, I always this. thought that Normal was a boy, but me. Eh, she had whatever. eyelashes, Amy. How could you get yeah. this wrong? Guys have eyelashes. <laughs> Not that long. Garfield has eyelashes when he's trying to look innocent. So basically, so, when eh. you not look innocent, you look more feminine. I don't know. Because girls are always Ask- right and innocent, and therefore it's so men are always bad. <laughs> Ask Jim Davis. <laughs> Like, yo, what's up with this? What's going uh, on? I will. I will. <laughs> uh, but still, but still, um, in the recent Grumpy Cat comic, issue four, I think, they seem to put in a gag, a gag reel or gag page called My Little Grumpy. Friendship is awful. Oh. <laughs> I see the shy cat and it's the best. Best cat. <laughs> you. And it's all of the main five. And Grumpy Cat is Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Yay! This is something well, cool. Well, Twilight was pretty grumpy in the first episode. Oh, yeah. Yep. Just imagine Grumpy... No, just imagine Twilight Sparkle being all grumpy and saying, No. I'd probably like her a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> Could relate. But the art for this one is pretty cool. Mm. They're very cute. They're all done in the style of the... Of Rarity's cat, so it, it's even fitting in with the show itself. Really? Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah, what? Well, well, Grumpy the drawing of Grumpy Cat, it, it does look like Opal. <laughs> well, alright. Well, that's cool. Mm-hmm. In my eyes, anyway. I like Grumpy Cat as well. She's just so suave. Look at her. <laughs> She's like, I'm pretty and I know her. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, don't try to do that voice. Only I can do that. Oh god. <laughs> Come on. You should know this by now. <laughs> like, are we all doing our belly voices now? Oh, Is that what we're doing? I don't need your approval, Melissa! Don't oh, you tell God. me what I can and can't do! <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. You stop doing that. You stop. <laughs> oh wow. We've opened up the floodgates. Right? I know. We you always have to do the Mary Sue voice at one point. <laughs> we promised chaos and we gave you chaos. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. And talking about chaos, everybody remember Mega Man? That is such a bad segue, but okay. <laughs> it was unattempted. <laughs> In the comments below, we'll give Norman gold stars for attempting to make a segue. Yeah, I could. <laughs> you, you, got, you got one of those crooked stars that says there was an attempt. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And why am I talking about Mega Man on a show about ponies? Well, <laughs> funny thing here is that there's going to be a new Mega Man show and DHX Media Limited and... That Sue Entertainment USA Incorporated have announced plans to develop and co-produce distribution, blah, 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 of a new Mega Man show. So that's cool. And for you guys who don't know, DHX is the same company that did Ponies. Mm-hmm. Yay! So the same animation studio that, or wait, is DHX, is DHX an animation studio or are they a publishing studio? Animation studio. Okay, they're the animation studio. Mm-hmm. So they may have some animators who worked on that, mm-hmm. working on this uh, Mega Man thing. They have, they, they have a lot of good animators on their team. They do a lot of kids' cartoons. So I'm cautiously optimistic about it, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, though, to be honest, nothing will ever beat the intro to the Mega Man cartoon of the 90s. Super fighting robot, da-da-da-da, Mega Man. Sounds like they're going to have him be like the normal uh, rock mm-hmm. or rock man is what his original thing was. He was just a, he was just a normal um, help robot, like a, a cleaner or, a, or an aide and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And then it was when Dr. Light then upgraded him into being Mega Man to help combat against the robot masters. 
Yes, there's actually a story in Mega Man. Oh, yeah. Quit staring at me like that. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you can see us staring at me, huh? Yeah, but the <laughs> current one, this new one, the 2017 one, his name is Aki Light. So yeah, Mega Man's name is Aki Light. That's gonna be interesting. I didn't even know he had a name. I'm learning. Yeah, no, for <laughs> this one. Well, his original name was Rockman in Japan. Yeah, and then it became Mega Man in America. Mm-hmm. And here's the thing that they lose in puns because in Japan, Mega Man's name is Rockman and his little sister is Roll. And what do you get when you put them together? Rock and Roll. Hey! Rock and Roll! Yeah. Wee. yeah. So it's like, oh god. <laughs> That's ingenious! I know, right? <laughs> hey, the puns continued. Um, when they, when they like tried to, in the Mega Man X series mm-hmm. and whatnot, when they introduced bass. Mm. He yeah. had a robot dog in trouble. Yeah, I think that's in Mega Those Man 7. Mm-hmm. But still, but still, uh, I think that's about it for the, what you call this, um, pony news. So, yeah, we're kind of short on content this week. Nothing much in terms of news, but still, I found that Mega Man used to be interesting because I like the cartoons and you guys should really watch it. <laughs> uh, but let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is email time. Yes, emails. If you send us emails, we will read it here on the show. And you make Norman happy. Yes, not not only me. We will make everyone happy. And yes. for this week, we have an email by our good buddy CRC Brony. And I'm going to put it in the Skype thingy and you guys can decide who's going to read it. Who's going to read it, by the way? I don't know. Who Who wants to be the announcer reader? Hmm. <laughs> I volunteer as tribute. Yeah, why not? Be the sacrificial lamb. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> awesome. Like Will, such a team player. <clears throat> yeah, team player, right. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Dear Norman, are you going to die or something? I don't think I've ever heard you sound so, um, different before. But I have to admit, Lurker Cat was right about that sexy voice. You should keep it. Who knows? It just might impress some Pegasisters. <laughs> there, keep your sexy voice, Norman. He's Even lost it already. What the fans down, Norman? <laughs> no, oh no, no. I go please. <laughs> not, just, not just sexy voice. I just got to spell it. <laughs> All right, continuing. Questions. Is there a way I can get an MP3 download for the review show and discussions? James hasn't hasn't on. I think he's in. James <laughs> hasn't been on the regular show for a while, and I wonder how Silverquill and Sappy is doing. Hope you get I better soon and stay that way. Your fans from Canada, CRC Brony and Cheerily Anne, PSP, PPS, <laughs> giggles, sexy voice, no. haha. <laughs> Uh, so, CRC, to your question about having a way to download the MP3s for the discussion podcast and review, well, previously we didn't have anything for that because I didn't know how to, but you know what, since you asked and since, well, it's kind of a big deal, I've decided to make the MBS show reviews and discussion show on iTunes. So yay, it's on iTunes now. Links are going to be on the show notes. And as for now, SweetieBot has uploaded a few episodes there. And let me see, what did she upload? Starting with Season 6, Episode 1 and 2, and till Friends Forever, Episode 24. And it will be growing. So yay! Stay around and Yay! keep listening because who knows, we might have Amy on or Steph on or maybe Will on on the review show talking about the ponies and the comics and probably talk about stuff and discuss about stuff like Mary Sue. Uh, stuff and things and things and stuff. Mary Sue should totally do a review. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> did they see that one before? Hey, 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 there, there, are, there are plenty of legitimate things in the comics that Mary Sue would say, my gosh, was this written by me? <laughs> oh, wow. No, she'd be, she would probably be like um, Chester A. Bomb by the Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> oh, gosh. After every episode. If she did, okay. ever did do reviews, she'd just be like, oh, my God, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. That's how I imagine Mary Sue. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But still, um, stick around and do listen. If you have been listening to the show on the YouTubes, thank you very much. And if you wanted to collect them and 
put them on the go, well, iTunes is available and Stitcher Radio will be up soon. Um, whatever place else is there, like I think iTunes, Stitcher Radio, well, those are the two things. Um, iTunes is there, Stitcher Radio is in the works. And besides that, you got your daily dose of the normal show, this one with your crazy hosts. So yay, uh, do stick around and listen. And thank you for the email, CRC. And yes, the sexy voice is gone. And I don't think it was sexy to begin with. Sounds like almost dead Norman to me. <laughs> It's like, well, CRC, Brony clearly thinks it was sexy. Uh, so, yeah. No, no. Yeah. Sexy is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, the beholder. Or the ear of the beholder. Uh, that doesn't work as well. Beholders don't have ears. They have a whole bunch of eyes. Yeah, yeah. And they're worth at least 25 gold a pop. <laughs> oh, wow. That sounds like a painful existence. Yeah, no, it's the, oh god, no. It is if you want to, if you fight a beholder, it's a painful existence. <laughs> yes! Oh, uh, wow. Well. I hope to never meet one. It's also a very short existence if you fight a beholder. Yeah. Very short. You gotta be lucky. <laughs> but anyway, is there a beholder in WoW? I don't remember. A creature with a lot of eyes, gazing. There through. probably was in the Nexus somewhere. I don't, it's been years since I've played it. Uh, um. The name he's played it like, uh, well, well, there they is... stopped before I've been hmm. stopped. There is a Beholder-like character in League of Legends called Vel'Koz. Mm. Now, of course, he's just one giant eye with a whole bunch of tentacles, and he shoots laser beams. Because mm. mm. that's normal. Yeah, yeah, sounds normal. Sounds like... Laser tentacles! <laughs> it sounds like Sumagurat from Marvel. Uh, but anyway, uh, probably the next movie I'll be watching is WoW. <laughs> so it's going to be cool. Warcraft times mm. for the win! Yay! Yes. Crying at orcs. Yep. Yes. And then watching in the theaters, having fun, suddenly disconnected from hosts. <laughs> ah. Oh yeah, <laughs> disconnected a little film. <laughs> thrown off server. Oh no. no. <laughs> watching Warcraft, hmm, something doesn't feel right here. <laughs> and it's halfway through the film and it's just like, oh wait, we're, we're a game, we're a movie based on a video game. Buffering! <laughs> just, just stop having <laughs> And that will be the reason that I can now go and get some popcorn. Let's all go to the lobby. lobby. Wait, was this an actual thing in a movie? Or is it just something you want to see? This is something we want to see. It's what happens in WoW all the time. Whenever you try and you get thrown off a server, it's been disconnected. So it would be funny if it happened in the film as well. Uh, It'll be interesting. Grom Grom Hellscream gets disconnected in the middle of his climactic scene. (laughs) Yeah. He's trying to, like... Fight against the humans and yeah. disconnect. And it would be interesting for them to discuss the DPS damage versus and whatnot, and suddenly someone just runs in and screams their name. Or, or, or I got a, I got a better one. The orc war chief says, "No man can beat me, but ten or twenty-five, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> depending on only if they know the strategy, though. Yeah. They don't stand in the AOEs. <laughs> and depending on how much they stat, and if they have the right stat for this raid." <laughs> If they're not totally a freaking noob. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, but anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at ambishowgmail.com. The email, is, sorry, uh, you can also reach us on the Twitters. The Twitter account is at MBS Show. Sweetie Bot will tweet about this show, tweet about stuff, especially the announcement that we have a podcast, a new podcast. So please subscribe to that. It'll make Sweetiebot happy, Yay. and me happy, and everyone who participates happy. Yes. Yay! Everybody's happy! Yay. Everybody's happy! Everything is awesome! Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome! When you're when having you're a team! Ow! Oh. <laughs> you, you, you two are going to go meet up in real life and have drinks, right? Ay, ay, ay. And we're going to terrorize the little town of Elgin. Ay, ay, ay. See, this is what we're like when we're sober. So. <laughs> we're like when we're together. This is why we could never be together. You are the only podcast that's had us in the same podcast, Norman. If we're together for a long time, the universe will implode. So. It unravels slowly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have civil quill on on a regular basis. So, yeah, the universe is not stable to begin with. I was a horrified pigeon. I know, right? It's racist, makes you. No, it's speciesist. I mean, is, he, is, he, is, he, is he a horse or a bird? I mean, he's, for God's sake, just pick one. <laughs> God. Uh, okay, that was definitely racist. <laughs> yes. 
Ay, ay, ay. Well, that's like say that's like saying to Mary Sue, "Oh, is she a Pegasus or a unicorn? Pick one." <laughs> oh, shots fired! Ooh. I ain't gonna. Shut I ain't gonna be involved. Uh, but anyway, if for me, you can catch me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And tickling my fancy is food. I love food. Food is good. Lurka cat here can Who attest. Love food? Yes, Lurka cat here can attest to how much I love food. Why do you torture me with your food, Norman? It always looks good. I take no, good no. pictures. Yay. <laughs> Every week. Oh, look at my food like a cat. It's like, ah! <laughs> well, I know you enjoy the food, so that's why I take pictures and show you. If you don't, I didn't. And then I cry myself to sleep because I can't have the food. Oh. No offense, so Steph. You make some pretty damn good cakes and things. Really? So. Yes. I like I've, cakes. I've enslaved you with my brownies. Yeah. She lures you in with the promise of cake and then you're trapped. Like her and <laughs> Kyle can also attest to the brownies. Well, I want... Except the cake is... I want some. So like, I will stay friends with you because you make good cake. Exactly. Where's my, where's my cake? This is how I have an army of people. Oh my god, I'm, adi- I'm addicted to your delicious cake. <laughs> yeah, you had my owl once, didn't Damn! you? Damn! <laughs> <laughs> oh well. I want to have some cake now. Like, oh, you guys are mean. I'll send some in the post for you, Norman. I'll put a stamp on them and just put them in the mailbox. <laughs> Alrighty then. Ooh, I'll bake a stamp! <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> uh, anyway, Wills, where can they find you? On Overwatch because I've become addicted to it. I know, right? Oh, you think the same. I've played it, yeah. Where are you playing Overwatch? Nah, people... PC or PS? Oh, PC, definitely. Oh, yeah. In fact, actually, I've gotten a bunch of legendary skin drops. I'm kind of lucky. Yay. Oh, nice. But, uh, I would suggest, I would suggest if you guys want an alternate to the first person shooter that has a lot of crazy characters, a lot of really fun, uh, uh, gameplay to it, and has some pretty wacky amount of uh, what the heck just happened? Why did that happen? And then pulling it off yourself on a whole bunch of other people hmm. is glorious. Plus, also, it's fun to just hear all the tears from people who bought <laughs> Bla- Battleborn and are like, oh, why is I no one playing Battleborn? <laughs> uh, I wish to feed on these tears. Where can I find these tears? <laughs> nah, but if, if people, if people want to find me, you can find me on Film Fiction for my writings at W-I-L underscore I underscore Z-I-N. You can find me on for my art on DeviantArt at W-I-L-I-Z-I-N. And you can also find me on Tumblr for, for random postings, usually about D&D or funny, weird crap, uh, on my wacky world of weaponized wisdom. Uh, that is W-I-L-I-Z-I-N on Tumblr. And just for a small bit of wisdom, somewhere in an alternate timeline, there's a version of me who makes good decisions regularly. <laughs> good for them. Yeah, Yay. screw them. Though. <laughs> yeah, good for them, but yeah, not really. Uh, but screw them. but will we need to play some Overwatch because oh my god, that game is so good. I need to get good. Hey man, I'll, you don't even have to get good. You can just have fun making your own personal challenges. Like today, I'm gonna try and get the most eliminations, or today, I'm gonna try and heal everyone the best I can, or today, I'm gonna try not enrage as that <laughs> other teammate Reinhardt decides to charge right off a cliff. Uh, oh, try not to reach at Bastion. Oh jeez, yeah. Actually, though, I did see something really hilarious though. A Reinhardt. Okay, so Diva does her alt, which she has a mech. She has a mech that explodes, and if you're in the mech's range, it'll kill you. It's the highest damage in the entire game. But a Reinhardt has a charge ability where the, he'll he'll basically pin the first person he hits. What a Reinhardt did was Diva did her ult. The whole thing was about to explode. He then did his charging pinning attack and pushed the Diva's ult out of the way, and both of them went off the cliff <laughs> and they exploded midair. Oh. To which then it was just to which then I, I was just like, did, did Reinhardt say? Oh god, you stay, <laughs> I go, no, I'm away. <laughs> oh, but that's good. But unfortunately, that won't get player of the match. Superman. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, gosh, now I'm sad. <laughs> I made myself sad. <laughs> what have you oh. done? <laughs> but anyway, Amy, where can the people find you? In Hobbiton. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hashtag confirmed. I know this. Um, no. Um, when I'm not in Hobbiton or going off on a wonderful adventures, uh, yes. you, uh, most of you will know my stuff on YouTube. 
<laughs> uh, Mad Munchkin Blathers on YouTube. It's also sometimes called Mad Munchkin Art and Illustration, depending on what I'm talking about. I do speed draw videos, reviews, and uh, discuss the art industry in general, talk about animated movies, TV shows, sometimes video games. Uh, not very often, but yeah, that's going to change, hopefully. Uh, yay! And of course you can find myself on DeviantArt, and I actually have two online shops, if I can just plug those. <laughs> yay! Uh, <laughs> if you don't uh, mind. Uh, the first we... one would be the Etsy shop, um, and link to that can be found on the Mad Munchkin Facebook page. Um, the Etsy shop is just called Mad Munchkin Art, so if you go to Etsy and find that, again you can also just find a link to it on the, the Facebook page. <laughs> Uh, that's loads of art prints on there for sale and basically these online shops as well as the eBay one and it obviously helps me pay my bills and everything but it's also because I'm trying to raise money because I will be going to BronyCon Baltimore next year. Yay! So, Yay. North America! So that's full of enthusiasm though, just like, yeah. I'm telling <laughs> you. You mean 2017? Yep. You mean 2017? 2017? Not this year, next year. It was supposed to be this year but, um, there, there was a bit of a schedule clash, Aww. so I couldn't go, fortunately. Aww. But, um, it's okay, that just gives me a little bit more time to get, have a better cushion behind me for money because obviously it's rather expensive to fly to the states from here. So, that is yes, true. That, that's the one that's hurt. Very um, it's not that powerful. No, <laughs> she's like, you need to, you need to fly over there, you need to pay for the flights. I'm not. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to do everything for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, besides if, if I ask her to send me to Baltimore, I'll probably end up in the North Pole or something. Always send to the wrong place. Yeah, Santa, though. <laughs> South Pole, then. You're going to be chill with penguins, then. Oh, win, win. Mm. Uh, the other thing is the eBay shop, Mad Bunch Can Art and Illustration on eBay. I, uh, everything that's on there is, some of it is also available on Etsy, but Etsy has more exclusively, exclusive prints on there, but, um, there are some auctioned off items on there, which will be personally signed for whoever wins them. So that's pretty awesome, doing that every now and then. That's to raise money for a charity for, uh, Children's Hospice Association Scotland is usually the charity I raise money for with these auctions, so it's always for a good cause. So, yeah. Yay. It's good, yeah. And, it's oh, they've good. already got bids. Why has that only got two bids? <laughs> but it's still at, <laughs> no, it's because it's still at 99. Oh well. Whatever. Anyway, so I've got those two. Uh, where else can you find me? Facebook, you can be found. Yes, I mentioned that earlier. There's Did the you? Magic oh. Facebook page. Yeah, I mentioned right. that when I was talking about the links for the shops, but, um, sorry? YouTube? Yep, yeah, I mentioned that. that. Right. Uh, Twitter. <laughs> that was a very first thing I mentioned. You're yeah. not on that new website, oh. uh, was it Philby or something? Yes, I am. I am, but I am also on Twitter. And, but as well, dang. and Facebook and um Fleeby. I, I think it's pronounced Fleeby. Fleeby? Just, it's Fleeby. Um yeah, it's basically it's a really good thing for well, any artist to use, so Will, it might be of some use to you as well, but it's it's a website where you can upload your artwork or music or um uh, lots of other kinds of media, but it's monetized. Ooh. So it works a similar way to if, you know, when you monetize your videos on YouTube, this works the same way. So unlike um, Patreon, where people pay in like a sponsorship thing, instead on Fleeby, you get paid for monetization. So it's a little different, but hmm. obviously it takes time to get enough monetization to actually get paid. But uh, it, I highly recommend it. So I will so have to give this a check out after we're done here. Yeah, indeed. F L I I B Y. And yeah, it's really really handy little website. I'm also um, starting to post some of my content onto Daily Motion ah. as oh, well. So, yeah, it's um, mostly to do with the um, like the Snackage series or the Reaction Theatre mm. episodes where I discuss more obscure or forgotten things or new releases so um i'll post them i'll continue to post them to youtube as well but it's just to have another outlet for those as well Indeed. so keep an eye out for that 
Yeah. And, um... Taking over the internet now. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly. Slowly but surely. And then Slowly. America. Yes, indeed. <laughs> um... I can't remember if I've mentioned Deviant Art already, but yeah, obviously, you did. yes. Yeah. So I pretty much post all of my finished artwork on there. Oh, so, right. and oh, one thing I'm going to end on, you'll be glad to know. This is the last thing I'll be talking about. I live stream on Picarto TV. Oh, I forgot about Picarto. Yeah, oh. Picarto is great fun. I usually live stream. I don't have a fixed schedule anymore because it's just such so hectic. I can't do it that way anymore, but. Um, I try to live stream at least twice a week. So if you follow the Facebook page and Twitter, or just follow me on the Carta website itself, you will be notified by email on when the live streams are. Uh, usually I try to live stream on Fridays. So, uh, but the times are all over the place, like I just said. So, but they're great fun. Sometimes I'll live stream with other people. Sometimes I'll I'll be drawing during like while also skyping with people I'm drawing with. So they're really good fun. And also yesterday you missed this stuff, but I played my ukulele on. <gasps> you played ukulele set. without me. Yeah. Did you play giant woman. <laughs> no, I didn't. Well, I tried. Just yeah. Pointing. I one line of this. It, it's. So song oh. I never passed. I played um Apples to the Core. Ooh. So oh, you missed you missed, you missed my Granny Smith voice. Oh, oh you actually did it. Which is hilarious. I wasn't gonna do it and I thought she could do it. So oh. Oh, God. I, I I now wanna go to BronyCon two thousand seventeen just to meet you, so I wanna hear your oh. ukulele play <laughs> up playing. Do it, Will. Do oh, it. I'll have to I'll have to see if I can take it with me. So yeah. Well heck it, heck if you could actually learn how to play um somewhere over the rainbow, I could do a Randy Newman style of that. I can say I'm, that. I'm learning so, a whole bunch of songs. Me? That one is actually quite, um, it's easy for me to play, but it's not easy for me to sing because it goes all over the place. So, um. Well, you're talking to a 14 <laughs> years worth of choir right here, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I gladly volunteer my voice. I was in the choirs. I sung professionally for a while, but then I was bad and ruined my voice during high school. Oh, no. Of course, so. oh, uh, no. Yeah, so it's not as... It's terrible now, but it's, it's slowly coming back. All right. And, yeah. Practice, practice, so, practice. Practice, 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 indeed, yeah. Um. So, yeah, I... I the Picardo thing is great fun, so um, I highly recommend people to join because... It's just really nice, well, like having people to hang out with while I'm working. Mm-hmm. So, yay! Yeah, live streaming Do is it. fun. Go to Amy's streams. Peep- Give yes. them a yo, 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 yo <laughs> for me, because I can never make it because I'm always working. Oh, yes. streaming. No, sir. It's <laughs> cool. Otherwise, I traumatize you. <laughs> it's cool. Everything will be into the links in the show notes. And Amy, please send it to me because I can't remember everything you just mentioned. Like the YouTubes and whatnot, <laughs> yeah. But the Picardo, the yeah, new I'll, site, I'll and. Post yeah. it. Yeah. So many sites. Yeah, <laughs> so I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyBeeLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Don't forget to subscribe to the new show, which is the NBA Show Reviews and Discussion on iTunes, and soon to be on Stitcher Radio. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been Will. Goodbye! I have been Lurker Cat. So long, farewell, I'll be the same goodbye. <laughs> and with that, we'll catch you guys next week with another amazing episode of the MBS show. So guys, see ya. Yay. Bye-bye. Stay creative. Bye. Bye. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's like, it's like, no, no, it's just you. It's just you.